Hello, wonderful peoples. How are you doing? Welcome to episode number four of opening my first official gym location right here in Shigali, Rwanda. So in the last episode, I talked about the money aspects, how much the move is going to cost me. And I finished the vlog with signing the official lease to this uh, new location. So it is official now, no going back. Basically for the coming year, I'm stuck to this place, whether I want it or not. Uh, after signing, I was given like two weeks or so to make all the necessary payments. So I emptied out all of my bank accounts, all of the cash that I had lying around in drawers under the mattress to pay for the deposit and the two months of rent. Luckily, during that same month is when we had a very good month at our gym. We got a surge of even more new clients, so the, uh, the, uh, the current location was packed and packed. We decided also to do some more extra clicker activities, so we went um, hiking with the whole group. It was fun and amazing, just a different way of testing your fitness uh, outside of the gym. And of course, the magnificent views of Chigali never disappoint. So in this episode, guys, we're going to take you along with the beginning of the construction of this new gym location. The dream is finally happening. So this is how the current location looks like. I had to go and take some pictures to document it, not only for, the, for myself and for the lease purposes, but also for you guys. Also just to look back at it and how it looked at before we started uh, renovation. As you can see, it's still a little bit dirty but there's some beauty inside of it. The renovations have started. Ceiling is coming off. So this is day one of the construction. We have started by taking out the ceiling. Funny fact about the ceiling, this was like a last minute idea that I had uh, literally in the last week uh, of signing, before signing the lease contract. I was just wondering, uh, the ceiling was a, a little bit on, it was high, but not high enough for me. So I took a gamble on taking out these ceiling parts and uh, hopefully it will pay right. out. We are at the end of day one of construction and this is how, this is how it looks like. The ceiling is 90% torn out. All of those wooden things are gonna be taken out. Uh, look what they've already taken out. And the toilets are on their way. So this is where the toilets in the shower. So this is day two of construction. So we bought all of this sand. It's gonna go into the house. Can you imagine? I had to pay all of this, I think like $200, 200K. These renovations are done with my good friend here, Kazungu. That is like his uh, pick name, or his nickname, I would say. But his official name is actually just like my Steofil. Um, he has some good vibes on him, and he also worked with my uncle in the past, so I kind of trusted him. He has a whole crew that he works with again, so basically I did not have to come here to oversee everything he was doing that. But of course I had to be here myself just to coordinate and also to make sure that they don't do things that they're not allowed to do or they're not supposed to do. They are evening out that part of the wall to make it taller. This is how it used to look like. Welcome to day number three of the renovations. So I just arrived here. Uh, I need to go to uh, other occasions, but I promised myself to drop here every day to see how it is and to keep you guys updated. So let's see how far the 
they've gone how far it has developed so far okay right here guys you can already see something that i guess i can only laugh they've taken out this part the ceiling even though i guess it's my fault i did not give clear instructions to take it out or not i just told them to wait but they've taken it out because it did, it did look a little bit crooked but yeah don't know how this is going to look like but i guess it's all right uh, so these are the cement blocks that we are using and this is how it looks this part was done yesterday this is what they were working on last night on the left and this is what they are finished it does not look like much progress compared to the day before but then again oh, oh of course the biggest progress there are lots of cables here that my electrician has removed so uh, that's also quite a, a lot of work i think Day four, just coming by for a quick checkup to see how far everything is going. Okay, so this is day four. Looks like they're finishing up the ceiling. Hey. Basically things are moving smooth. I like the fact that these guys are working every day from sun up to sundown. Uh, I keep coming here and I'm surprised on how much progress is being booked. I can't wait for the final product. Hello guys, today another day to come and check up. Today I'm here with the wifey. Say hello wifey. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, she has not seen the progress so far. It's been three days or so of uh, Four days maybe renovation. So uh, Today's a holiday. So no one is working, but uh, Let's come and check out uh, The progress. Okay, shall we go? Let's go Okay Yeah, so this is the progress so far we've put in some new Langet, as they call them. Oh, that is too open. Yeah, you like it? Oh, yeah. Okay. You like it? Oh, my God. That's a lot of it. Uh huh. You can use a lot of the ring hangers. Uh huh. Oh, I like it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so this is the wall. Add it on. Yeah. Yeah. So this is going to be the female changing room. Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. Okay. So the the ball is for here to step up here. And then you go into the showers here, and then the toilets there. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so this is the main room. Okay. Here it's smaller. Mm -hmm. But then the space feels bigger somehow, this space. But you can sit in this whole area, basically. Mm -hmm. And then that level door. Hey, it feels like there's more yes yeah, because of the l shape because all right new day new construction day new progress let's ch let's check it out you can already see that the wall is coming along so i basically had two main contractors that were working for me one was doing the main renovation and the other one was more was doing the plumbing uh, renovation I would say which is a uh, two different skill sets that need uh, their own specialty all right new day new progress let's see how far they have gone so far these are going to be the support beams well, we're gonna do our pull-ups and everything on top of it okay 
So as you can see, we have already drilled out the holes. Now we're gonna put the support beams. The wall do look a little bit hollow. I'm concerned about that. Luckily they did drill out, at least we know how strong the wall is. The shower has been built here. Okay, we had a funny mistake happen. He was fixing the support beam, but he forgot that to put, take care of the ladder. So now it's stuck and the ladder is metal. So we have to cut it. Oh, that thing is really, really strong. Okay, so I'm here with my electrician and we are deciding in what way to hang up the lights. Which direction to go. So the one on the left is option A, and in the middle is B, the one is working, and the one on the right is option C. So, just some thoughts about these renovations as I go through it uh, at the moment. It is quite taxing, I've realized, just coming here, talk, talking to these people, um, making calculation, calculations, and uh, everything keeps changing uh, for me, which is okay, but at the same time, um, yeah, it's tough anyway, because you have to recalculate and then ask yourself, is this the better, is this the better solution or not? And also, um, there's like a fine line between choosing the thing that you really love and you really like and you are dreaming of. And at the same time thinking about your money because you can only spend your money once uh, but at the same time you want to do it right from the get-go so i'm stuck between those two things where i want to do it really the right way from the get-go but at the same time things are getting so much so expensive um, but at the same time also i'm very excited every time when i see something coming together like for instance now that what you can see here so much progress it's like it's like a like literally my dream is coming through in front of my eyes and I cannot help but get some kind of like enjoyment out of it but at the same time I kind of keep it inside of me um, because I wanna I don't wanna like jinx it I want it to be finished and to be done and to work on those small details that I really really enjoy and um, but my responsible self says okay let's focus on the main things let's focus on the roof let's focus on the foundation let's focus on the plumbing and electricity because those are the foundation of this uh, gym basically but um, yeah so far it's, it's going really well and like I said it's like a dream come true and I'm really glad that you guys are watching and following from wherever you are uh, because I've been watching many YouTube videos like this and it's, it's kind of nice to maybe make it about yourself and, and trust me no matter how many views these videos get I'm, I'm gonna be in the top 10 of the people who keep re-watching it because it's, it's simply amazing it's like this dream has, 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 that started so long ago is now finally coming to fruition. Yeah, but we are not there yet, so stay tuned for more uh, videos to come. If you like these videos, subscribe and uh, like this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Muramuchi.